good morning welcome back to the channel we are at the new job right the new job is actually over there but first things first in this area in this area here two years ago I cleared all down the edges of the ditches and everything else getting all the woodland out so you can maintain a ditch there's stacks of wood everywhere I've now got to go around pull the firewood out or the chip out and the lop on top put to one side and have a big fire once that is done I will show you via the iPad what is on next after that hold on a second and I will show you so, I don't know how well you can see this uh, right so when I was here two years ago I went right around the boundary of this place and well along that boundary there as well Right. and I took all overhanging stuff off everything else and it's all laying down on the grass I've now got to go sort all the firewood out and get that sorted then the next project after that is I've got to follow this boundary through the woodland here and take out anything 6 metres wide 6 to 7 metres wide so we can get the digger through get vehicles through maintain the fence line then once that's done I've then got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 ponds to sort out I take the wood out, the brash out, everything else, and get the sun back in there to start livening them back up again. So, this is a fair sized project to start off with. About a month's worth of work here, especially with the ponds, because the ponds are very, very critical. They're not just rip everything out. Um, they're pond, glacial ponds. They're here from the ice age. They were where big lumps of ice were left and capped off with soil once it obviously disappeared and then that ice melted which left pockets which are called pingo ponds um, and that is what is left so I can't touch any soil in there I can't touch any anything to do with the pond all I can do is take the trees out uh, not take the stumps out it's going to be coppice down because they don't want it being disturbed so yeah I've got a fair size job on here I think it's warming up I'm nice and warm now because it is cold out there Yes, it is nine degrees. However, with that wind chill, that is pretty cold out there. Um, so yeah, the digger's nice and warm. I'm nice and warm. Gonna get in there, start sorting some of this fire without getting it ready for roadside. But right, I'll see you in a second. I haven't got much footage, but over over the back there, I've already had one fire. I've cleared down that side and halfway along this side. I've now got I've now got this ready to start another fire. I'll show you how I start a fire. A lot of people use oils and diesel and straw and all sorts to get going. That one over there took an old tiny bit of plastic, and I mean the size of your hand, a bit of plastic. And some dry material, I about when. So what I've done is I found a load of old ivy a load of old brambles and a load of old gorse it's all dried been sat here for two years nice nice good tinder and i've literally got a little plastic bag with a bit of tissue and a tiny little bit of cardboard and i'll show you how i get this fire going and i must admit that one over the back there yeah, can't get near it it's so hot but right what you want to do is have a good look round and find a nice nice spot to be able to go in with a load of nice fine material which if I look around here that in there looks lovely don't want to get any of that gorse in your boots because it's horrible stuff about there somewhere would be lovely if I can get it going right I'll just uh, sit you down for a second and I'll come back once I've got it in place right Ow, getting gorse stabbed me everywhere that stuff there is horrible very sharp very dry I mean it's like little needles but I'll tell you what I'll do this bit here I'll go a little bit lower if I can go in there so it burns up so you put start there and burn up. Oop. Let's see if we can get this girl going. Give it a 
look, you've got to give it time though, you really have. And if the wind's blowing this way, you want to set the fire at the back so it draws it through and draws it up. There she goes, she's starting to burn. Right, I'll just go get some more dry material and uh, start dropping on there before she go out. But that is as simple as that and it will get going. It will start roaring and really get going in a minute. But right, we'll get some more dry material on there then. It's starting to lick up now. You look there, the flames are starting to come up. So you need to find some nice fine material just to gradually put over and on top. Don't want to suffocate the fire. But do you want it to get going? This course is good stuff if you can get it to burn. This stuff has been sat still for a little while now. I've been sat still nearly two years. That will get going. And just find small stuff like this. And just start laying it up on the fire. And now and again, give it a little push down like that, and she will get going. Lovely. All right, I've got some nice fine material back here. I'll come and grab this. I'm not burning everything. What I'm doing is I'm going through, and anything big, anything over that sort of size I'm cutting down put to one side and then that will go and be sold as fire um, I've got somebody interested in buying that so that is what that will be for I'll snap all this off because I don't want that on the fire yet you can tell that fire's got going already look and that's just from that little bit of plastic that's all that was not plastic, should I say, more sort of tissue than anything else. You've just got to find the right, right bits of tinder, nice and dry, and your fire will just get going. There's no need to have tyres, plastic bags, and diesel, and you don't need it, you really don't. Going lovely, and I'm not gonna lie to you, that is in real time. That's how quick it took, just that. And now all it is is just a matter of grabbing everything and start putting on there. Yes, I could have had all this chipped, it was supposed to have been chipped, but people never come back to chip it for some reason. Don't know why, really don't know why. We're gonna have the fire, like I say, we're gonna have the firewood out of it, but all this, what I call lop and top, all the small stuff, that is all gonna get burned. Like this will go love. get this on I'm gonna sit and have a bit of breakfast because I haven't had any breakfast yet just wanted to get going and get, show you how I get a fire going and that is how we get a fire going out in the woods and she's going lovely now she really is just a little push down all right I'll grab one more bundle to chuck on there before me breakfast this is where I could have done with a little skid steer on tracks with a grapple. It's so much quicker, so much easier. They're on about having a teleport run on here, but the trouble is this is really, really soft like bent land and the teleport will just disappear. It really will, there is no way that it will run on here, but there's some real soft patches that suddenly you'll just disappear with no warning. So I've got to be there, I've got to be careful with the digger. Yeah. Right, 
we'll uh, wrap this bit. Chuck all this off. Look at her now. She is blazing away. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And that's all it takes. Just one little start and away she goes. Simples. Really, really is simple. There's something about fires, I don't know what it is, but they're just so mesmerising. Like I say, that is literally from one tiny little bag with a little bit of toilet paper in it and a lighter. Not an issue. So that's just my guide on how I start all my fires. Um, even on rainy days, rainy, cold, wet, windy days, that is how I start them. Um, oh, I can't see it, it's getting hot. What size is that? Perfect. Right, I'm going to have some breakfast. I'll see you back here shortly. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. Be well. Well, so you can't beat that noise, can you? Absolutely love it. Nice, quiet, plenty of heat. Oh, it's beautiful really is beautiful but right i'm gonna finish me breakfast the egg and crisps and me packet of crisps i'm gonna have that and then crack on with some more so i'll see you back here in about 10 minutes i'll have 10 minutes and then i'll uh, crack on there you go don't forget please especially the thumbs up the thumbs up goes a hell of a long way with the algorithm so please, 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 don't forget the thumbs up. Thank All right, you. we're still on the second fire. Uh, plenty of stuff going on the fire, still burning fairly well. What I'll probably do is put the camera outside, try and get some outside footage again, different angles, and we'll go from there. But I'm also trying to keep the wood I want to keep separate. I'm gradually stacking up on the sides. I must have half a lorry load of wood already stacked up throughout the sides. I'll collect it all and I'll put it all in one big pile at the end. But right, I'll um, get this outside and uh, see what you think to it.
So what you can see here, we've got another little project to do, but I think this is next year. Um, somebody dug this pond out. I don't know if you can see because of the sun, but they've dug it out and they've just heaped everything up, which is no point. It's a lovely little pond, lovely little pond. About an acre, acre and a bit. Uh, got an island in the middle there. It's not very deep. I think the deepest part is about two and a half foot, three foot. Lovely, but next year I think is wanting to us take that shelf out across the back there, double the size of the pond. These banks, take them right away and get rid of them. That looks such an eyesore, but that is a plan. Uh, that is next year. That is what we're hopefully going to be doing next year as well. Uh, next project after I finish doing these fires are in that wood across the back there. Stretch down from as far as you can see down there all the way up to around here and I've got to go right round the back of the boundary and clear that and make a track all the way round. So yeah, it's all good. Keeping me busy. Like I say about a month's worth of work here to go round that boundary, tidy this up and tidy some other bits and pieces up for him. We've got to be done in that wood by the 28th of February for the simple fact of nest and birds. Uh, it'll be getting to that time again. So, half of these fires are done, which will be finished tomorrow, and then we start in the wood. Do well. But right, I'm going to carry on now, going to let you lot go. Um, hope you enjoyed the content, hope you enjoyed the different camera angles, uh, and I hope you enjoyed how I get a fire started. Um, I hope it helps some of you out, I really do. Uh, that's the easiest way I find to start a fire anyway, is literally a little bit, bit of tissue, a little plastic bag in there, a bit of dry tinder if you can get it. You see how quick that went up. That was literally up and roaring away within five minutes. So yeah, if you like the content, please do like, share, subscribe. Um, and yeah, join. just keep joining me on my journey. Uh, hopefully get bigger and bigger and more and more machines. We'll see, see what the future holds. You never know, you never know what's around the corner. But right, on that note, from me and from Vanessa the Volvo, we'll see you on the next one. Stay safe, see you soon.